Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Mythic Mobs tutorial. This uh, tutorial, I've been racking my brain on a lot because it's a, uh, it's a very simple mechanic, really. It's straightforward. So as always, I decided to come up with a few extra ways to use it just to give you guys some ideas because I did realize how. Um, how straightforward the mechanic is. There's not really a whole lot you can change with it, but today's video is going to be on the arrow volley mechanic. Well, we're just gonna go right into it. I'm not gonna bother with mob creation. I assume by now you will already have one made because I imagine if you're watching this video, you might already know what you're doing. Now this video is going to have um, a different tiers of mechanic to use. One for absolute beginners, one for people who have somewhat of an idea of how to use mythic mobs, and then one for more advanced users. And that last one is going to be using the stance mechanic, and if you have not seen that video of mine yet, um, that tutorial for stances, please go check it out. Link will be in the description below. It's going to play a big part, but let's go ahead and get into it. So, what is arrow volley? Arrow volley is literally just, uh, well, it shoots arrows. Yeah, it's really that straightforward. Now, I did mess with the variables here, though. For example, this is by default set to 20, which is 20 arrows. Let me just explain it. Amount, spread, which is how far apart the arrows should be. They haven't been working for me. Maybe I've been doing something wrong or just going about it the wrong way. But spread doesn't seem to do anything. Velocity, which is how fast your arrows fly. You don't want to set it too high because... Um, you will get arrows that will glitch, they'll fly so fast that they won't render properly, making them actually miss the target. Um, you got this, which is fire tick, uh, which is defaulted to 50, I believe. And then your, um, basically your disappearing time. Uh, oh, remove delay, that's what it's called. So. This one is set to 200 ticks, which is 10 seconds, which means the arrows will instantly disappear after 10 seconds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch that to... Actually, I'm going to keep that how it is. I think it's fine. Um, of course, you're going to want to switch uh, players and radius to target, unless, of course, you wanted to do a spread shot like I do, and on interact. Obviously, you're going to want to have it on a timer or within the random skill. If you don't know how to do that, I'll have a link to that in the tutorial as well. Um... In the description is what I meant to say. Anyway, so basically, arrow volley. I have it set to amount equals 1, velocity equals 30, and no fire tick, and it disappears after 200 seconds. So let me go ahead and uh, get that going. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Sharp shooter. I cannot spell today. Okay. Uh, one thing I noticed, which is kind of weird, I'm using 4.5.1, and every time you spawn in a mob, it just seems to automatically default to south, no matter where you're looking. This is really weird, because this was not a thing in versions 4.4+, plus, but I don't know, maybe that'll be fixed soon, maybe it was intentional, I have no idea. Anyway, that's not what we're on about. Basically, arrow volley is simply that. As you can see, it does like three hearts of damage, which is quite a bit if you're not wearing armor, and even with armor, it does about half a heart to a full heart. I think it does uh, 0.75 because as you saw, it went from half to one and a half, which would make sense because we don't have three quarter hearts, so it would just skip over that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it just flies right at me and hits. I found that velocity 30 is best, and it will hit up to an eight block radius, of course, there's no way for me to test this. I tested it with other dummies earlier. But that's as straightforward as it goes. Um, now you have your fire, which is obviously done in ticks, so one second is every 20 ticks. So if I went ahead and did that... Uh, okay, maybe maybe it's in seconds. No, that was, that was rather odd. That should not have lasted as long as it did. Regardless, um, that's what that is. I guess that's just something you'll have to play around with it, um, you know, to your liking. Next, we're going to go on to the more intermediate skills. First one, Arrow Barrage. It's pretty straightforward. It's basically just a meta skill. Um, again, you're going to want to change this. Uh, let me go ahead and change this to players, so that way it'll target me here. Okay, of course you're going to want to change this to target or players in radius if you want it to attack all players. 
um, and this to timer or whatever other trigger you want. I'm keeping it on interact simply so I can show you what it does. Now arrow barrage is, I have right here. Instead of making it one big convoluted thing, I decided to use the repeat and repeat interval commands. I did not cover this before, um, but I mean they're as, they're as straightforward as they get. This means this is how many times bonus it will repeat. So it'll shoot once and then it'll repeat another four times. And then as always done in ticks. So this means it's gonna activate every half second. Now I've found out that using 10 is best because any less than that and your mobs will, or the arrows will bounce. And I'm not sure what causes this. I thought it would work on players since players don't have a immunity tick time, but uh, apparently that is not the case. And yes, I have found that 10 is the best way to make it work fastest and most efficiently. So this is what the arrow barrage looks like. That's not what it looks like. It looks like this. So as you saw, it shot me five times. Simple, very, very simple command. Next is quick shot. Basically, you're gonna wanna like I said up here, you're going to want a 10 second tick, so whenever it starts, you're going to want to have it set to 10 seconds. This basically makes it to where whenever the mob hits you, as you can see on hit, um, it will shoot another set, or another arrow. Now you can set it to do arrow barrage too, but then you're going to want to have a big cooldown on it because otherwise he'll just constantly keep shooting you. Unless, of course, he misses, but if he's shooting at a velocity of 30, the odds are very low that he will. So, anyway, as I was saying, it's important to have a cooldown, though, um, just so that way it won't keep activating constantly. Uh, I found 20 seconds works best because by the time it covers the 8 block distance at a velocity of 30, only 1 second will have passed, generally. So, it won't be able to activate again if it does hit you. So basically, it, this is what it looks like. And it is not working. I messed up something somewhere. Ah, my bad. Okay, so in order for that one to work, you do have to have your base arrow volley or whatever else you decide to use. Uh, say you have a skeleton archer, um, you, can, you can just, you don't even need to have this because they shoot arrows on their own anyway. Um, yeah, so he'll just do another one on hit. Now, this is what it'll look like. As you can see, he just shot another one fairly quickly right afterwards. And as you can see, even when I'm running around, he like doesn't miss me at all. So, except for that time. But yeah, that's, that's how you could do a second shot with it if you wanted to every once in a while. Or if you really didn't want it to be on cooldown, you could set it to zero, and then what you could do is add a modifier to it. So like right now, it has a 30% chance to activate the skill upon hitting me. So, as you can see, yep, there it is. Sometimes he shoots a second one. Uh, yeah. So sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. You can do it that way. I think it keeps it rather random and is a good way to uh, keep players, you know, a little bit on edge. So that's how you would do a quick shot type style uh, use of the arrow volley. That probably didn't make much sense. I'm getting my words a little jumbled and I apologize. So now we're getting on to the more advanced stuff. Again, this is going to require stances. So if you have not checked out my tutorial for that, please do. It'll be in the description below, as I've mentioned before. Basically what I have here is one called Poison Barrage. It's basically the Arrow Barrage, but a little bit different. So what it does is it sets the stance on the mob to Poison, and then it'll do an Arrow Volley. After that, it uses the Quick Shot mechanic, how this goes on hit. This is on, on attack is basically on hit. It's like the same thing. Um, so within the three seconds that the stance is active, it will poison you, which is down here, because as you can see, set stance, poison, stance equals poison. And I do not have any sort of percentage modifier, which means it will always happen, but you are welcome to change that if you so choose. But this is how I have it set up. 
Now you're going to want to make sure you set the stance to a different one, it doesn't matter what you call it, um, at the end of this, because otherwise he'll keep poisoning you constantly because his stance will never change. Um, and it's also very important to make sure you have a stance set to whatever this is, so that way it doesn't constantly poison players upon hitting them. So, with that being said, this is what it will be like. So he used his barrage, and one thing I forgot to mention, it uses a potion mechanic, and if you are deciding to do this, you can use whatever you want. You can use slow, you can use weakness, you can use whatever you want. Make I personally say make sure force is set to true. I will not be covering the potion mechanic in this tutorial, however, you are welcome to go look it up if you so choose. But yes, every time he hits me while that stance is active, it will poison me. One thing to be careful of with this too, is this does mean if you had a skeleton for example, so he's shooting at you, his basic attacks within that time frame will also poison you. So it's a very iffy mechanic. You could probably turn down like the number of repeats down to like two, um, and turn that down to like you know, probably 30, so that way you're less likely to be affected by auto attacks. But that is, uh, that's how that one works, using the stance mechanic. It's a rather short tutorial, but that's all I have for you guys today. If I gave you any ideas, inspired you, or anything like that, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe to my video and my channel, because I will be having a lot more tutorials to come in the future. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to see anything covered, I'll be covering all the skills, but if you need any ideas, please feel free to message me on my Discord or comment on my YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.